In 1918, the McCook Chamber of Commerce enlisted community leaders for the support towards community hospital. The resident priest at St. Patrick's Catholic Church, Reverend Kuntz, was able to negotiate with the Sisters of St. Catherine's of Siena in Springfield, Kentucky, and an agreement was reached that those nuns would found a new hospital in McCook. When the Sisters arrived to McCook in 1921, a hospital fund drive had already been underway. The community would provide half, the Dominican Sisters the other half, for the total price of $75,000 for the new hospital. Community support for the project was strong and enthusiastic. Articles in the Gazette were frequent in stating a good, up-to-date, well-equipped, and well-managed hospitals is one of the most pressing needs for the city of McCook. People were traveling to Denver, Omaha, or Hastings for such hospital treatment. For those who were sick, such trips were inconvenient, dangerous, and came at great expense. The hospital will be strictly unbiased, offering equally good care to persons of every denomination. The hospital will have facility for up to 40 patients and would be equipped with the most modern equipment. Initially, a central building was built with a 50-bed capacity. Plans called for the wings to be added as needed on each of the four corners of the building, eventually making the large, sprawling building resemble the letter X. However, only two of the four additions were ever built. By the mid-1960s, a writer noted that the hospital had been outdated by government regulations, competition, and father time. Payments from federal programs such as Medicare and Medicaid now made up approximately 60% of the hospital's income. And their standards dictated that, among other things, that there was insignificant number of bathrooms and the hallways were much too narrow. When evaluated by architects, it was determined that the changes that were required to bring St. Catharines up to federal standards would cost more than 50% of the cost of a new modern building. It was determined it was best to abandon that facility and go with a new structure. In early 1970, the building was purchased by a private owner and efforts were made to convert the hospital into private apartments. However, the conversion was extremely expensive and finding renters in the small farming community was not enough to maintain the ongoing expenses of the then St. Catherine Apartments. The apartments fell into foreclosure and was sold at public auction. Monday, March 3, 2014, the McCook Gazette reports after several years of sitting idle, the former St. Catharines apartment building was purchased for $16,500 Wednesday at the Sheriff's Cell at Red Willow County Courthouse. The purchaser, John Smith of McCook, told the Gazette this morning that he plans to convert the building into apartments and condominiums. There will be two condominiums, one for Mr. Smith and one for his niece. He said that the remainder of the large structure will be converted into apartments with Smith and his niece serving as the managers. There have been concerns that the large rambling block-long brick building, which had fallen into disrepair, would have to be demolished. But in recent months, the need for additional rental housing in the community became obvious. John Smith, the new owner of the one-time St. Catharines of Siena Hospital property, is medically retired from the military. He grew up in Cambridge and once actually lived in the St. Catharines apartments during his grade school years. In fact, Smith says, I lived there at St. Catharines for a short time when I was in the third and fourth grade. I have some fond memories of my days living there as a child.
So I'll, I'll start out walking, and then we're gonna we're gonna cut off from the group and probably go upstairs and do some videoing. And okay, I've got every door unlocked except the one down here I haven't got to yet, and the one on the very top floor. So okay. Uh, but other than that, you know, just you know, don't get lost. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And what was this? Was the delivery room you said, or yeah, the, the, down this hall right here? Down this, which one? Yeah, down there. And those were the delivery rooms. Oh, okay. Here's and where the delivery room. Right to your left. That was like the nurses changing station showers for the day. Oh, neat. Yeah. These were the delivery rooms. That oh, the nurses' changing room. Oh, oh, changing room. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so this was the nursery part. Yeah, yeah, right here was actually the nursery right here. This is where the babies were kept. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the stuff. I mean, there's just some, just little random stuff. Every once in a while, you're gonna cross something, but. And there's a huge bug on the wall. <laughs> and a giant cockroach keeps away the small cockroaches. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Tell them watch out for the cockroaches. Yep. Yeah. Right here's the whole reason I'm out of fires. <laughs> that's, that's the stairwell. But um, I figure we'll go up that way. Okay. I mean, after we get done. Sure, sure. At some point. So these were never apartments. These were just patient rooms? Yep. They were patient rooms. Um, they used them for storage while, while they were apartments in here. Uh -huh. They were pretty uh, small yeah. rooms back then, huh? Yeah. When they, when they closed this, there was tons of stuff up to score here that we had to clean out all the time. <laughs> um, so something maybe uh, I think we to run the uh, event here. Uh -huh. I'd like to get in there. We can take a, a room, just take a swing. Okay, but I was going to say, I can, I can clean it up and stuff beforehand. And, really? Yeah. Um, yeah, I was actually going to help you out because obviously it's a huge building, but I would like like to take as many hazards out of the way as, as possible. Right. Because there is liability issues, you know. Oh, yeah. So, um, actually, I'm going to wave all of us. Right. <laughs> you come you hang out with me, you can die. That's just, yep. everybody knows that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I will try to, uh, try to take as, as much of it out of the way as yeah. possible. Yeah. You know, just scoot, nothing more than you scoot that table against the wall. Right. Uh, you know, just clean up some of the. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, I'm I, willing to do that. That'd be yeah. awesome. Yeah, because I, I was going to ask you, because I didn't touch anything. I didn't know how you wanted it, so I just left it exactly how it was. It was just She's actually a nurse. Yeah, that's I what just, she's just still told him that when he said there's a nurse's changing room. I'm like, I'm a nurse. We can look at the twins in each room. Well, I'm not. We can look at the twins in the lab. Um, we can look at the twins in the Okay, this was the autopsy room. filled with a lot of stuff now. No autopsies are being performed. You know, I don't, maybe they covered it over. I think we were looking for the drain last time. Kind of goes downhill right here where you just step down. See, I yeah. think it may be under that maybe table.
Yeah, you'd think they'd have to have one somewhere, huh? They might have covered it up yeah. over the years. Yeah. Well, you, there, I know at one time there was a tunnel that went from here to the nunnery across the street there. They sealed it up, and I have no clue. They did such a good job. I searched everywhere. I could not find where they put for new concrete. And I've talked to people who have, uh, well, I actually know a nun that used to work here. And for the library, she could not remember where that tunnel was. Huh. So. <laughs> wow. Well, we could probably find it with dowsing rods, whoever's good at that. Yeah. <laughs> you think? Oh, um, you can get free BJs here, huh, by the way. <laughs> All right. I've been here after 10 minutes. <laughs> it's oh, darn. <laughs> well, anyways. So some of the males might have liked that idea. Yeah. <laughs> So what was in this one, do you know? That was the, the, the lunch room where people ate. Oh, okay. Just checking it out. So this was the kitchen? Yep. Pretty big. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the day of the event, I'll come through and make sure everything's open. So. Yeah, what's the effect? So got the tile floor, there's a drain. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that does look like a... Right here. Seems like the, 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 the fire got fire. Yeah. But who really knows? I know that those used to be like cooled of some sort because that's I know they used that cork uh, insulation and stuff. Well, they just burnt the doors? Oh, no, no, those, that's the glue on there. I, that's what I thought, oh. too. Oh. <laughs> but someone who knew a lot more than me said, no, no, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's that, that glue that they use on okay. there. Okay, so. that's pretty weird. Well, How'd they do that? <laughs> Which way did the tunnel go? I don't remember. The tunnel? Yeah, that way? We gotta go down to the downstairs and oh. then there's a, um, the elevator and it's beside the elevator. And it's like just a door. It looks kind of inconspicuous, but I like this door here.
Oh no, there's mist. <laughs> we at Ghost Adventures believe that that's the spirit of. Marco! Yeah. There's stairs, so where do they go? Oh, that goes up to the chapel, actually, right there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I get lost. So this will take us back down to the second floor, but that's, there's the chapel right there. Okay. The top of the stairs. Did you get up top? No? Go yeah, ahead. I went in there. I just figured. I came down those stairs. Oh, I just think it's top. a cool view. If I can get it just kind of. Maybe.
I don't remember any of these rooms being in. They didn't have drywall, don't they? Yeah. Because remember we talked about using one of these big larger rooms to yeah. put our stuff in and so like there's Maybe that's what he did. He started cleaning up and Yeah. Because yeah, and there's like you can tell he was been sweeping and cleaning. Uh, All right, let's try and get to the next floor before they get up there. Out of this room. <laughs> so it's pretty sturdy now. So what's in that room up there? Oh, that's a. Uh, Another top of the elevator. That's the, oh, another. That's the one that goes into that uh, apartment. Oh, okay. Oh, funny. And over there's another elevator shaft. That was the one that we saw over there. That we could actually open up. Oh, okay. it was actually open. And that roof is our playground when this one. That one was? Yeah, we weren't supposed to stand there. I was going to say, that's going to be kind of scary. Yeah, not really. Must have been fun, though. Oh, yeah. Glad nobody fell off. Yeah. Yeah, because those are very high walls. Yeah, no. That's pretty cool.